Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to the Photo Show. In today's episode, we're going to start our Photoshop series with something really basic. Showing you how to open an image, crop it, adjust the levels, sharpen it and then saving it back to your computer. Before looking at the tutorial, if you like what you see on the Photo Show, please comment, like and subscribe in the boxes below. Thanks for watching, here's the tutorial. What I want to show you today is three very basic things you can do to any image in Photoshop to improve the way they look. So first off, this is Photoshop. This version is CS6, but the things I'm going to show you here will work in any of the previous versions and Photoshop elements. They're all fairly basic uh, operations in Photoshop. So first off, let's open up an image. So we come up to the top here to File. Click that. Second on the drop-down menu there is Open. We'll click that, and that will open a dialog box here. From here, you can navigate around your computer to find where your folders are stored with libraries, the drop down menus there. So you find the folder you need. I'm going to use an image from this folder. So let's come on down to the bottom here. I'm going to pick this image of the fox. So you highlight the image there. The file name comes up in this box there and click open. Right, there we have Photoshop has opened up the image here. So we've got the image of the fox, and the first thing I want to do with this is to crop the image down. There's a lot of wasted area around it, and the real area of interest is the fox itself. So let's pick the crop tool. If you come down here to your toolbar, the crop tool looks like two L's overlapping each other. Now you can click this, and that will open up the uh, crop tool. Or as you can see there, we have a keyboard shortcut of just pressing C. So I'm going to use that option. I'm just going to press C on the keyboard. And that then opens up the crop frame around your image. I've got my crop frame set to 10 inches wide by 8 inches high. But uh, you've got a number of preset options here for sort of standard photo sizes. And you can also just add in your own uh, width and height as you please to customize it as you want. Right, so let's bring the cursor to the corner of the crop frame and start dragging it in towards the center of the image. As you can see, the crop frame starts to shrink down. Now, put the cursor in the center of the crop frame and move the image around. In this version of Photoshop it moves the image around. In previous versions you actually move the crop frame but the principle is exactly the same. So right, let's move the image to where we want it. I think cropped about there is good for me. So there's our crop preview. To make the crop take effect to the image you just press enter on your keyboard. And there we have it. The image is cropped down nice and tight. We've lost all the extra areas and we've just got the fox nice and tight there. The next thing I want to do to this image is to adjust the levels. So come up to the top of your page here and you have image. Click that. Second option down is adjustments. And from the drop down menu there, the second option is levels. If you come across, you can see you have a keyboard shortcut of control and L. So I'm going to use that way of doing it. So hold down control, press L. Let's get rid of those first, sorry. Hold down Control, press L, and that opens up your Levels dialog box. And what we've got here, this black mountain looking area is your histogram. And this is a visual representation of the light and dark areas of your photograph. This end with the black slider operates the, the black areas of the image. The white uh, operates the highlights. And the center one in here will adjust the midtones. So let's start by grabbing the black slider and bringing it in towards the center. As you can see, the image starts to get darker and darker. Now we've obviously gone too far there, so let's bring it out to a level where we're happy with how the image is looking. I think about there, the blacks are looking nice and deep without affecting any of the detail on the image. We can still see the eye of the fox there through there. Let's go to the white slider now and start to bring that in towards the center. As you see, the image starts to lighten up. When we take it too far, you can see here and here, we've lost detail in the fur. So we've over, overdone the highlights, so let's bring that back a bit so we've got some detail back in the fur areas there. I think about there. We can see nice detail in the fur, and they're still nice and light. Okay, let's grab the middle slider. If we bring it to the left, it'll lighten the image up. If we bring it to the right, it'll darken the image down. So let's find a point where we're happy with the way the image looks. Okay, I like it about there. We've got nice rich colours in the fur of the fox. We can still see uh, detail in the highlights and the black areas here 
they're still nice and deep. Maybe a touch lighter actually, just to bring the eye out slightly. Okay. Okay, I'm happy there. Let's click OK and apply the levels change to the image. Right, so now we have a cropped and level adjusted image. The last thing I want to do on this image is to sharpen it up. So come up to the top again here to filter. Click that. In the drop down menu, if you come all the way down here, we have sharpen. And in the second drop down menu, of your various options, I'm going to use the unsharp mask at the bottom here. So we click the unsharp mask. And that brings up the dialog box for, for that. This area here is your preview window. And that will normally pick the center area of your photographs. That's doing the fur there. But you can click and drag within that to bring to the area you need. I'm going to bring it across so we've got the eye of the fox there. Eyes are always a good area to use for sharpening. Uh, the bottom here, I'm going to leave the threshold at 2, leave the radius at 1.0, and we'll just play with the amount slider here. So let's bring the amount slider all the way down to, to 1 at the bottom there. It's not applied any sharpening at all, and it's, it's having real no, no effect on the image. If we bring it all the way up to the other end to 500, 500%, you can see it's had quite a dramatic effect, and that would be over sharpening the image. It would, the edges would look jagged and not natural. So let's bring it down to an area where we're happy with the sharpening. I think probably around somewhere 150, 160 percent. Still 152. That's looking fine. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's click OK, and that will apply the sharpening to the image as well. Right, there we have it. A cropped, level adjusted, sharpened image. There's a vast improvement on the image we opened up. Last thing I want to do here is to save the image. So come up to File, click that and scroll down. And I would always recommend using Save As. This gives you the chance to rename the file as a, as a different name from the original file that you've got. That also allows you to keep the original file if you ever want to come back and do other adjustments or changes to it. As you can see here, the keyboard shortcut for this is Shift, Control, and S. So I'm going to use that option. Hold down Shift and Control, press S, and that opens up the Save As dialog box. So here's the original file name. I'm going to change that. I'm going to keep the last three numbers so I know which file I used. Just take out the first bit and change that to Fox. So now we're changing our, our file name to Fox011. Click Save. This gives you a JPEGs option box, which allows you to choose which size of file you want to save the image as. Bring it all the way down to zero, so it comes up as low, which will be a small file size, but you won't have the, the detail and quality that you need. Bring it all the way up to 12 there to maximum, much larger file size. Um, for what we're doing here, if you were going to take this to be printed or print it out yourself at home, I would say 10 would be plenty so let's bring it down to 10 so we've brought it down to 10 still on maximum size we've got 2.6 megabit file which is completely fine click OK and as you can see here the file name has now changed to Fox 011 ok I've been Dave Vickers thanks for watching see you next time